Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Hmm. Waiting for folks to join us for our evening meditation. Evening meditation, another one coming from the Healing Waterfall. And we'll just see who can join us live this evening. Give it a few minutes for folks to join in. Hi, Eunice. Thanks for finding me. Hopefully we'll have a few more, but here's everybody. Hi, Matt. Congratulations on a successful day. Great to see everybody coming and finding us for an evening meditation. Hi, Brett. Debbie, too. Hi, Eileen. Good to see you. So great to make a friendship with you. Looking forward to working with you at some point, Eileen. So um, we're gathered here tonight for another evening meditation, another opportunity to rest and relax. And I want to just say, I got to take a couple minutes and just say how important you are to this work. Because if you didn't come and find these videos, there wouldn't feel like there was a point in doing them. And so it is a big deal that you take this time, that you take this time out for you and that you take your time out to come and find community here with one another and that you recognize that you need this time. You need this time to rest and to find some relaxation and to take a little time to meditate at what has been a really difficult time. I just shared a video from my friend Catherine McDonald who this video was recommended to me from my friend Kelly Hudson um, because I'm having a really crappy couple of days. like really crappy and nothing particularly life altering but just those straws on the camel's back are getting placed one by one by one and they're getting really heavy and you know tonight it's taco tuesday and it's Cinco de Mayo. It's a huge celebration May 5th and um I just happened just so for the record I happen to make the best fish tacos north of Tulum, Mexico, in the humble opinion of my family and myself. Just saying. And anybody that's tasted them, they're pretty darn good. And we were so excited. We've been thinking about this since the weekend. Oh, Taco Tuesday, we're going to have fish tacos today. It's going to be amazing. And I went out. I foraged at the grocery store today. I went out for my once a week um, uh, time to go out to the grocery store. And... Uh, I got the jalapeno peppers that I needed and I got the fish that I needed and I was like, I've got everything else. It's going to be amazing. And we got everything else on the counter to get it all ready to make for this evening. I make homemade pico de gallo. I make homemade guacamole. I make my tortillas from scratch. Um, it, it's, it's everything. And so everything's out on the counter and I go to grab the mesa flour, which is a special corn flour for making your own uh, hand pressed tortillas that I make. No mesa flour. You know, I could have just sat on the floor and cried. It was just, it, it's such a silly thing, but it mattered in that moment and we're all disappointed. So um, Taco Tuesday will have to happen maybe on Thursday, um, but we've been looking forward to it and it's just one more little disappointment added to the many, many little disappointments that we're all dealing with right now on top of the really huge disappointments and the really huge griefs. And so for you to show up, to be here with me, to allow me to do this thing that I love to do, to lead you in relaxation, to lead you in meditation, to be of pastoral care to you, means the world to me. And it is life-giving to me right now. And I thank you so much for showing up again and again to be in this time with me. It matters. Thank you. So there might not be any Taco Tuesday, but there is an evening meditation. And we're here again for another meditation, a guided imagery from The Healing Waterfall. A book by Max Heistein, 100 Guided Imagery Scripts for Counselors, Healers, and Clergy, used uh, with permission from him, which is fantastic. And we'll start with some breath work tonight. I'm going to lead you in um, some counting of the breath tonight, which is another wonderful practice that you can take with you anytime. So I'll ask right now that you get yourself comfortable. Feel free to lay down. 
feel free to make sure you're warm enough. Get yourself covered up with a blanket. Or maybe you're someone that's like super hot all the time. I don't really get you people. That's my, my child, Leela. She's always, she's like a little furnace um, and, and needs actually when she lays down for meditation to just like whip up, the, whip off the socks and just lay there. And I'm, I'm like, give me all the blankets. So whatever you need to be the most comfortable in the next 20 minutes or so, you do that right now. And whenever you get comfy, you can start to close your eyes. I want you to shift and move your body however you need to move it to you feel completely comfortable maybe you'd like to put a pillow under your knees get really comfy I'm gonna sit back in my chair tonight ah, lovely rocking chair and we'll all get comfy so allow yourself a few deep breaths as we just gather in this space together as you find yourself preparing to be more and more relaxed. Take a deep breath in through your nose and a nice full breath out of your mouth, maybe finding yourself with a nice deep sigh in through your nose. <sighs> nice big sigh. My dear dog, Miss Lucy, she's so good at that. She's just, animals have that natural instinct to just go, See if you can find that in yourself tonight. Maybe even as you inhale, as you inhale and you get ready for that big sigh, even shrug your shoulders up a little bit. And then as you exhale, just let your shoulders drop. Let them drop down towards the floor if you're sitting up or laying down, whatever direction that you're laying in or relaxing in right now. Make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes. And I'm going to invite you to bring your attention and your awareness to your breath. First, bring your attention to your breath at the tip of your nose. Feel the breath moving in and out of your nostrils at the tip of your nose. I'd like you to notice everything about your breath. Notice its temperature. Notice its pace. Notice its depth. Pay attention to the direction of your breath. Allow all of your attention to be on your breath in the next few moments. Notice if your breath feels cool as it moves into your body. Notice if it feels warmer as it moves back up and out of your body. Notice how deeply your breath moves into your lungs. Notice how your body expands as your breath comes into your body. Notice how your body contracts as your breath moves back up and out of your body. Notice how your breath moves up your nostrils and then down and into your lungs. Notice as you breathe out how your breath moves up and out of your lungs and then down and out through your nostrils. Now begin to notice how long it's taking you to breathe or how short. Begin to start to count your breath. For example, breathe in to Three. Just notice how long it's actually taking you to breathe right now without controlling it in any way. Notice how long, how many counts, one, two, three, four, however your pace of counting, how long is it that you're breathing in? Maybe how long it is you're pausing and then how long it takes you to breathe back out. Just count your breaths for several breaths. Noticing how long it takes you to breathe in Notice how long it's taking you to breathe out without judgment, without changing or controlling the breath. Just simply count the breath.
I'll invite you now to control the breath some. In yoga practice, we call this pranayama, a method of controlling the life force energy, the breath. Breathing in to a count of four. Breathing out to a count of four. So breathing in, two, three, four. Breathing out, two, three, four. Try breathing in to a count of four and breathing out to a count of four for several breaths. Breathing in to a count of four, breathing out to a count of four. You may count faster or slower, slightly than I just led you in, but see if you can get your inhale and your exhale to be equal counts of four. Breathe this way for several breaths. Now I'm going to invite you to start to increase your exhale, the count of your exhale. We're going to start by trying to inhale to a count of four and exhale to a count of six. Please be mindful that if any time this makes you feel uncomfortable or anxious to just return to a normal cycle of breath. Return to breathing effortlessly, letting go of a need to control the breath. If it feels comfortable to do so, please follow my direction. Exhale completely. Now breathe into a count of four, three, four, and breathe out to a count of four to start. Three, four. Now we're gonna increase the exhale. Breathe into a count of four, three, four. Now exhale to a count of six, three, four, five, six. Inhale to a count of four, three, four. Exhale to a count of six, three, four, five, six. Continue to breathe in to a count of four and out to a count of six for several breaths, going at your own pace, using your own rhythm for counting, but in to four and out to six. Now keep going if that feels like enough already. But if you can, we're gonna to start to breathe into a count of four and breathe out to a count of eight. So doubling the time of our exhale over the time of our inhale. Let's begin, breathe out completely. Breathe into a count of four, three, four, Breathe out to a count of eight, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, into a count of four, three, four, out to a count of eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Continue to breathe like this for several breaths, breathing into a count of four, breathing out to a count of eight. Remember at any time if this makes you feel uncomfortable, makes you feel anxious in any way, to simply return to a normal pattern of breath, just watching yourself as you breathe in and as you breathe out. If it feels okay and it feels comfortable to you, try breathing into a count of four, breathing out to a count of eight. I invite you now to let go of controlling the breath. Return to breathing effortlessly. Take just a slow, deep breath in and let go of any tension that's remaining in your body. Let yourself settle into a more relaxed posture as we prepare for guided imagery. Walking with Jesus by the sea. Humility. Feel yourself dropping down from your mind and into your body. This breath work that we've done allow you to feel more relaxed already. Continue to feel the weight of your body sinking into the surface that you're resting on as you become more and more comfortable and relaxed. I'd like you now to imagine that you're barefoot walking along a secluded beach close to where the surf thins out onto the shore and then recedes again. Perhaps you'd enjoy letting the water softly lap up to your ankles, or maybe you prefer to remain just out of reach. Either way, it's a beautiful warm day, and just the right amount of cloud cover. As you walk along, you can feel the packed sand beneath your feet Feel as it gives way as you sink in a little with each step. A light breeze brings a touch of ocean mist to your face. You can smell the clean scent of the sea. You hear the rhythmic sounds of the waves and the seabirds soothe and comfort you. And all the sights, the sounds, and feelings here convey a deep sense of peace and harmony with nature. Before long, you notice the sound of the ocean has become softer. The feeling of the air around you has become lighter. And within you, you begin to feel lighter, clearer, and more open. And as soon as you feel the presence of Christ and notice Jesus walking along the shore beside you, it feels as though he's been there all along. His company feels perfectly natural, familiar, friendly, and warm and from the moment he joins you you feel that love is everywhere coming from him from the sea from the sky from the sand and especially from your own heart love is present and very apparent as if it were being amplified within you so there can be no mistaking it 
take a few moments let yourself experience this simply be with Jesus as you walk along where the sea meets the sand Jesus leads you back along the shore to a quiet cove where the two of you can comfortably sit and rest. Consider one situation in your life today where despite your best efforts, things do not go the way you believe they should. Take a moment to get a good look at that situation and be especially aware of the way you feel about it. Now, consider one situation in the world that you believe is tragic and unfair, over which you believe you have little or no influence. Take a moment to get a good look at that situation and become keenly aware of how you feel about it. Now Jesus leads you toward a small cave nearby and you enter together. At first it's very dark, but as you move forward, you find a faint light is drawing you deeper into the cave. Finally, you come to an opening where Jesus holds you securely as you look out. There before you is the universe in a night sky filled with more stars than you've ever seen. The scene is breathtaking. It's overwhelming in its vastness. Without Jesus saying anything at all, you know he is showing you the creation before you to illustrate the magnitude of what God can do. Take a moment to let this experience into your heart and absorb it as fully as possible. Quietly, Jesus now leads you back to the cove where you were seated before, and he kneels down, pointing to something in the sand, something for you to pick up and examine. It's a seashell, and embedded in it is the fossil imprint of a tiny fish that swam in the sea millions of years ago. Jesus looks at you. God made this also and the ocean, and the land, and the sky, and all the millions of creatures that swim, walk, and fly. And God made Jesus, and God made you. Life is unfolding within you and around you according to God's plan. You are being extended an invitation now to release the need to know that plan in order to come gracefully into humble appreciation of a world of miracles. Look once more at the current situation in your life you first examined earlier in the meditation and see it. See it in all its apparent imperfection. 
surrounded by the light of God. Remember the way you felt about the situation before and consider how you can adjust your attitude to best support yourself and any others involved. Jesus places his hand upon your heart to help you come into the harmony of humility. As you take some time to make a shift, take several slow, deep breaths. Release the situation from your own ego and turn it over to God where it belongs. And now, once again, consider the situation in the world you looked at earlier that you consider unfair. Go deep into your heart and ask God to help you let go of any judgment about the world, life, God, or creation. Open your heart and send love without any condition on how it is to be used to that situation. And as you do this, Jesus once again places his hand upon your heart. Feel a shift within you as any bitterness you may have held in is dissolved and released. Release that situation from your ego and turn it over to God where it belongs. Take some time to let that unfold. Jesus turns and you stand facing each other and he blesses you with his deepest love and compassion. Take some time to experience that love that radiates from Jesus's heart toward your own. Open your own heart and expand it as wide as you can. Receive all the love your heart can receive. It's almost time now to bring this journey to a close. So gather together anything you have learned that you'd like to bring with you. And take a moment to thank Jesus for his love and support. Also take some time to thank yourself for giving yourself this gift. Gradually bring your awareness back into your body. If you've fallen asleep, stay asleep. If you're still with me, gradually begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Yawn and stretch. Maybe bring your knees to your chest and give yourselves a well-deserved hug before rolling over. 
rest on your side for a minute or stay there if you like. Some of you might feel like sitting back up. Wherever you find yourself these next few moments, allow your eyes to come open. And we'll prepare to say goodbye to each other for another day. Welcome back. Thanks for being with me once again. It's my pleasure to lead you in these evening meditations. We have two more this week. We have Wednesday morning and Thursday morning reflections at 10 a.m. and evening meditations on Wednesday and Thursday evening at 7.30 p.m. All these videos are saved on our Facebook page and you can also share them from YouTube with people that may not have Facebook. So you can find our YouTube page at elmsdalecooperativeministry.com. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for taking this time out for yourself, but also taking the time to be with each other here, to be in community. I invite you to say goodbye to one another now and to wish each other the peace of a good evening. I love you. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.